Hi, I want to begin by thanking Canova for sending me this beautiful robot arm. It really represents the latest and cutting edge technologies that are available for people with severe disabilities. One of the things in particular I want to discuss in this video is the idea of multiple end effectors. So what is an end effector? An example of one would be on this robot arm over here, the end effector is the claw. End effectors are particularly important as it relates to assisted technology when you're talking about self-feeding robots. One of the challenges with self-feeding robots today is that they need to figure out not only the food's density difference, which means that it's different to pick up an apple versus, for example, mashed potatoes. It also needs to calculate the angle of attack, whether it should use that, for example, fork to go in this way, or if it should come in from the side. One thing that I think would be particularly helpful here is this concept of using multiple end effectors on your robot arm. Here is a design for multiple end effector that would switch between a fork and a spoon. And you can see how it has these two servo motors in the back that just rotate these gears. This, of course, is a much larger version of how to do it and you can scale this down many times over. These servo motors propel the gear to push the fork forward. Alternatively, you can push the spoon forward. One of the benefits of using a device like this on self-feeding robots is that once they know what kind of food they need to pick up, they can then select the best utensil for the task. There are many other benefits of using multiple end effector tools. For example, if your robot arm is working on a manufacturing plant where it needs to do a certain task, you can use a device like this. This multiple end effector tool can be useful for switching between drill bits. Here's an example of a common multiple end effector tool one of these pens that changes the color of the ink that you use. And you can see how you can use this kind of design even for surgical approaches. This is a design that I created for a laparoscopic instrument that would allow surgeons to switch between a scissor or a needle driver or a bowel grasper without needing to remove this instrument from the body at all. A similar multiple end effector tool would be quite useful on the da Vinci robot assisted laparoscopic surgery. So you wouldn't need to remove one of these devices just to switch between a scissor or a bowel grasper. Instead, you can have over here the ability for a multiple end effector tool that would do all of that for you. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out my next video on how you can use 3D printed objects to adapt your Canova controller to better suit your abilities.